Niall McGrath here post fight with a victorious Jonathan Brookins after his victory over Decky Dalton tonight. Jonathan, first of all, um, great obviously to see you back over this side of the pond. Um, how did you feel tonight going in there against a the whole town favourite, obviously a hostile crowd as well? Yeah, um, I felt good. I, I just to be as relaxed as I could be. That was just like the only thing that I could do. My only game plan. It's been a wild, wild uh, ride. Actually, just like a past year for me. So my main thing was just kind of just to remain myself. Um, and that, that's all I could do. What's the situation with your your gym? You were affiliated obviously with TriStar um, a bit, of, I think, a couple of years ago. Yeah. Where are you training now? Where are you where are you doing your your trade? Um, right now, as of you know, just a little bit ago, I'm in I'm in Israel actually. Um, TriStar is always family to me. They're always going to be family to me. They've looked after me. They gave me a place to live. But like, I've been kind of like on a, a different like soul searching mission. So I've been kind of going where my heart takes me not so much where like um the you know the fight is is the best uh so i've been following a different path um i i, I left tristar to go do a yoga project in uh in norway uh norway was a little bit cold which led me to israel uh, i've never been to tel aviv so i'm just kind of just bouncing around right now but right now I've, I've landed in tel aviv and it's a new fresh place for me so that's where i'm at right now it's also about the fight itself, obviously. Um, you know, Decky came out in the first round, looked to sort of control the octagon in the first. Um, you can, you know, you, you looked a little bit better in the second and third. You progressed and got into the fight more and more. Mm. Um, were you surprised that he maybe maybe tired a little bit so much in the third? That, that he did? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I wasn't surprised because I, I, I held that choke pretty good. So I was hoping that took a little bit of power out of him. I guess what more so what I was just, like, surprised with was just, like, his overall just toughness like I think I kind of like uh, you know like underestimated him a bit when I first saw him and things like that I was like okay I'm, I'm much bigger than this guy it's gonna be cool and it always happens like that way people look smaller and they get into the ring they've they, they fattened up or plumped up a bit so he was just tough man and I'm just really happy that that he, he that we were able to go in there and have a good time You've ended your three-fight losing streak. That obviously must be a big weight off your shoulders as well. Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> that was, that was, I guess, the main main thing to get out of the way, you know, to see if I can get started again. These last three fights that I've had... What's that? No, no. Oh, okay. The last three fights that I've had, um, they've, uh, they've, they've all kind of just been the same. Like, I, I, I just... just I don't train I just kind of just go in there and just kind of feel it out and see what happens and kind of evolve that way it's an interesting path for a martial artist and uh, I'm just looking to change that I'm looking for something to inspire me I'm looking to kind of like evolve still still waiting for it I guess I needed something to tell me that I can still do this I guess that I'm still a part of this fight game and, 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 and this is where I wanted to be in the first place a year ago when I got back into the sport after taking like a couple years off so I, I feel like I'm in a good spot to kind of like start evolving again or growing who knows those body shots hurt you badly, the Decky troop? Yeah, man, yeah. <laughs> he def I definitely felt them. That was, I was definitely impressed with that. I was like, oh, wow. You know, like, uh, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> so what's the next move for Jonathan Brookins? Um, are you going to stick around maybe with Bama? Or are you going to, you know, what, what's the plan in relation to fighting? I, I would like to stick around with Bama. Like I said, when I, when I got back into the sport, the first, the first organization that I reached out to was Bama. And then I just had to, you know, take a couple, three fights and did, did them however I did them. But like now I'm here with an organization that I'd, I'd love to grow in, like really would love to. So if, if they want me around, then, I, then I'll then i start to put in the work. And, well, I will put in the work. So, yeah. Great to see you back uh, in the cage tonight. Appreciate it. Cool, man. Right on. Thank you. Nice. Cheers, man.